Hello, this is Dave Chapin with the October Company Update. This month, we have an exciting announcement uh, to let everybody know that we are changing our PTO or vacation time policy effective January 1st, 2024. We are lowering the requirement to become eligible for four weeks of PTO from 20 week, 20 years to 10 years. So anybody who has been here for 10 years uh, through 19 years will now start getting uh, accrued vacation time based on four years. And if you've been here for nine years, starting next year, you will get that benefit. So the eligibility has, we've lopped off 10 years um, from the uh, requirement before people start getting four weeks vacation. So effective, um, the first of the year, everybody who has been here for 10 years or more will start accruing their vacation time at four weeks a year. So congratulations to those of you who have uh, gotten this perk. It's the uh, second major change uh, we've had to our benefits this year. The first, of course, being the paternity uh, leave uh, and maternity leave a program that we put in place um, that many people, uh, an update there would be, we know of eight people who have used the program so far. And of course there are other people in the process of getting ready to have children and uh, will also get a chance to uh, use it. We haven't had any maternity leave yet, but we have had eight people use the paternity portion of the uh, policy. So we think it's exciting. We think it's exciting on, uh, on both fronts that people are getting the benefit uh, that people are getting the um, little treasure into their home and uh, we also are excited to have the pto change that will take effect on the first of the year hello everybody uh, time for october's uh, monthly update video on what's happening here in the central region uh, primarily uh, work-related, we're staying busy with projects that we have. I uh, got some continued projects like the stadium and uh, College of Engineering, Atlas, Henderson, things like that. Uh, we have some new pro newer projects that we're getting out of the ground now, like the DMV. Um, not a lot happening in Faith Lutheran. Uh, Aragon at the lead tower is uh, progressing along, um, different things like that. Um, we don't have any new projects to share as of this month. Uh, update on a couple projects we talked about last month. Uh, College of Dentistry on UNL East Campus, that project is for sure. We have a contract on that and we have started a few things there. Um, another one on campus at UNL, uh, Nyhart Hall. Uh, we found out that that project is not a go. Uh, the university doesn't have the money to do that one, so that project is scrapped for a future date. Uh, we are bidding multiple projects in the area. Um, the estimating department is busy as always, so if you're aware of a project that uh, we should be taking a look at, please feel free to let us know. Uh, one update on uh, something coming up, Awesome Day, our annual uh, day of getting together and, and uh, meeting up and doing things. Uh, that is tentatively scheduled right now for Friday, October 20th. That is not set in stone and an agenda and things like that have not been set, but uh, something to mark on your calendars that, that's, uh, that that is likely the day that we will be doing Awesome Day this year. Um, other than that, not much to update uh, in our region. As always, everything you do, um, do it with safety first in your mind. Use the right tool for the job. Uh, the, the right PPE for the job, always using the you know PPE that's required, your hard hats, gloves, safety glasses, things like that. Um, so keep it safe out there and uh, you know don't let uh, don't let your coworkers don't walk by an unsafe act and let your coworkers do anything unsafe either. So um, that's all I got for this month and thank you everybody for your hard work and uh, we will see you out there. Welcome to the October employee uh, of the employee information for this month. Um, we are going to be looking at anniversaries for October as well as new hires for September. So let's um, move forward here. The, we did not have any new hires in September, um, so we will move past that and go to our October anniversaries. We will start with Brandon Beckman, who is a journeyman in Nebraska on October 4th. We'll be here two years. Kaden Copeland, who is also a journeyman in Nebraska on October 4th, will be here four years. And on October 17th, Timothy Weldon, who is an apprentice in Nebraska, will be here one year. 
We have Wesley Griffey, who on October 22nd will be here for five years. And Wesley um, is our account recruiter liaison down in Oklahoma. Um, and on October 25th, we have Brady Carmen, who is a journeyman um, in Oklahoma, and he will be here two years. On our, also on October 25th, we have Ethan Egger, who is an apprentice in Nebraska, and he will be here two years. And then on October 26th, Cody Malave, who is a maintenance tech in Oklahoma, will be here three years. So thank you for all that you have done in the last year here at Wilmer Electric to make it successful. Um, I do also want to remind you that we continue for the next um, two weeks to have apprentices attending um, classes um, from 7 to, or yeah, 7 in the morning to 11.30 um, to do the makeup for the three weeks that we have uh, pushed off apprentice classes. So um, just keep that as a reminder for the next uh, two weeks that that will be happening. Hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks.